Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell. And I'm going to talk about a wonderful, wonderful film that was shot actually in the very first bar that I called home when I moved to Los Angeles. Uh, so this commentary goes out to Big Ed's in Culver City and to all my friends. This is Barfly. I confess I'm not a big fan of addiction movies. Not a lot of places you can go with them, really. It's either death or redemption. Uh, for instance, I love the first half of Sid and Nancy, but I really don't need to watch the second half. I get it. Don't do heroin. Don't be an alcoholic. I really don't need movies to tell me these things. So there's something really delightfully subversive and refreshing about Barfly. It's a screenplay by Charles Bukowski based on some of his writing. Uh, Bukowski was a great drinking poet. Uh, it's also the first American film from director Barbara Schroeder, uh, who had previously done a wonderful documentary about Idi Amin. Weirdly, this movie was produced by Canon Films, who are not legendary for making particularly good movies. This is probably their best film, followed closely by 52 Pickup and Runaway Train, and I, uh, then pretty much nothing after that. Uh, it is also one of Mickey Work's best performances, and that's really saying something. In his heyday, he's one of the greats. Uh, it's about a pair of unrepentant drunks who find each other in a dumpy bar, uh, don't really change much, and don't really want to. And in spite of the kind of uh, overt surface misery and despair of the film, it's actually really kind of life-affirming. It's got a real joie de vivre to it that's, uh, forgive me for using the phrase, intoxicating. On top of uh, Rourke's performance, uh, Faye Dunaway is absolutely amazing. It just, uh, you can't believe you're looking at this woman who's, who's usually so glamorous, but she's completely convincing as the, uh, the drunken barfly. Uh, but for all of that, as despairing as the film might look, it really is just, it's a funny, funny movie full of great characters. The bar that the main characters hang out in was in Culver City when I first moved to Los Angeles, across the street from the studio where I first worked at. And we used to go there at the end of the day and hang out and drink with the locals. When they shut it down to shoot Barfly, uh, the thought of throwing those locals out in the street was uh, too much, so they hired them all as extras. So now whenever I go back and watch it, I get to see kind of like all the local, well, real Barflies.